as of Xcode 15, which is currently in beta as part of WWDC 23, the new Swift version is included now, which has some very interesting improvements for using if and switch in your code. So previously you would write if statements and switch statements just as statements, as their own operation, their own control flow statements in your functions. Now you can actually use them to declare your variables, which means that if and switch are now expressions, not just statements, but let me show you what I mean by that. So here I have a very simple example and in reality we don't even need to view here. I just need to write some test code to show you what I mean with expressions and statements. I've prepared an enum here just so we can try out switch and then I've prepared a variable that holds a value of that enum and another variable that is just a boolean set to true. So first of all let's create a variable with an if statement inside and then let's create a variable with a switch statement inside. They work very similarly. So let's say let my name equals and I want this to depend on whether I'm making a YouTube video or not. So beforehand you could have used the ternary operator here and say when I'm making a video my name is Flo Writes Code and otherwise my name is just Flo. But this can be hard to read if you don't know what the ternary operator does. There is no an alternative. We can just say if making a YouTube video and then return flow writes code and else just return flow. And as you can see, there are no errors here. This is now perfectly valid syntax as of Xcode 15. You can now use if else statements in your variable declarations. And in the same name, we can say let type string be a string and this should switch over my developer type and Xcode even has some autocomplete for us here. So just as equals if, we can now use equals switch. And for the case corporate, I want to just return corporate. For the case indie, I want to just return indie. Interesting to note here is that this has implicit returns, which means that we don't need to actually um, add the return statement here. And in fact, this might actually break it. Yeah. So we can use the implicit return feature of Swift to create or to use switch and case as an expression to create our variables. This was just a very quick introduction to if and switch as expressions. I think both of these are very helpful, especially the switch as that just wasn't possible before. Before you would do something completely different. So you would say, let type be a string and then switch over the type and say, in the case corporate, the type string would be corporate. And in the case of indie, the type string would be indie. I'm not a fan of this pattern, so I really enjoy that we can now just use switch as an expression. Regarding the if expression, this is a nice syntactical sugar, I would say, beforehand we already had a ternary operator which did exactly the same thing, but using the if else statement just looks a lot cleaner and is easier to read in my opinion.